Hi Libra, welcome to your December monthly reading. We'll begin right away with a general tarot, and I'll clarify that reading with another deck. I'll finish off the video for you with an oracle card or two. Alright, let's see your current energy for December. Libra, my air signs. Ooh. Oh, you're feeling it, yeah. Nine of Swords. You are having sleepless nights, some anxiety, some depression. That there for you and an amethyst as well. It's one of the most intense cards of the deck. All right, let's see. Clarify the Nine of Swords for Libra. This one. Well, at least you're moving into temperance, into a balance. This. I want to say episode. I don't know why has caused you to find this inner balance, or it will be teaching you inner balance in the long run. Past your outside influences, Knight of Pentacles. You are planting roots. You are trying to find the best way to move forward and feeling. Grounding down that energy into the earth always. Ooh. Oh yeah, the Eight of Swords. Okay, that makes sense. You were seeing things from a perspective that wasn't real. You thought that you were trapped. You thought you were confined within a situation. And actually, you were free to do and move and be whatever you wanted. And unfortunately, at that time, you weren't able to see that. But I'm feeling as you're tapping more into the earth, as you're Focusing on your vision to move forward, you're moving up this air energy to the nine and then into this balance, which is in the right direction, moving in the right direction. All right, let's see the blocks and lessons, page of pentacles, I love that. Again, planting those new roots, it's just the beginning stages of planting down that earth energy, new ideas for yourself. Also becoming more independent as well. And she's also, you could see, she is almost in tree pose, has one leg up, so that is nice beside the balance. Might want to try yoga or focusing on some type of balancing practice, physically balance. Nine of Wands is coming with that. So you're feeling defensive, you're ending a fiery cycle. And the message I'm feeling is to not give up because you're so close to being done. And then you'll be moving into this earth energy more, out of the air energy, ending this fire energy cycle. Okay, let's see how your person or situation is feeling about you. Ooh, they see you as the empress. They see you as nurturing they see you as worldly they see you as being in control of your thoughts because it's above the eight of swords you might have been through this period of self-imposed imprisonment self-imposed imprisonment i don't know <laughs> okay you know what i'm trying to say and now it's full empress which i love and the ten of cups they also see you as their wish fulfillment in their emotional abundance, in their emotional cups. They also see you as something, not something, someone that they can plant these roots with because it is above the Knight of Pentacles. And they could be moving towards you as well because the Knight is always about movement. This is about practical movement though, so that is something to consider. Not always going in with the emotions full on at a 10, maybe coming in more with this. Page of Pentacles energy. Okay, let's see intentions. Ooh, what's this? Yes, balance. This is above the Nine of Swords and the Temperance, so that's perfect because it clarifies balance in your life. It clarifies that you need to know when to give and when to receive. And here, you're becoming the queen of swords. And that is flying in with the three of wands. 
for the message from the universe in this section here. The Queen of Swords above the Temperance and besides the Six of Pentacles is such a powerful energy. You're moving away from this anxiety and depression and you're moving into your power with the Empress and the Queen of Swords. And you're also waiting. You could see both of these women are looking out. They're waiting for new opportunities to come in. They're waiting for fresh energy, I'm feeling. Just fresh energy. That's the phrase they keep hearing over and over. Ooh, this one flies out. Ooh, Six of Cups. Reverse. I don't do reversals unless it flies out that way. So it could be you're focusing too much on the past. You're reminiscing about all of the things that happened. You could see it upright. Going back and seeing what went wrong in the past and learning from the past is good. Just don't get stuck in the past because that could create this Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords. Yeah, I feel like the message is about, about not going into this negative, not negative, but you don't have to go back there. Time to focus on these new pentacles here. And then also there's a beautiful relationship happening, if not now in the future, for sure. If it's not a love reading for you, it will be coming in. Ooh, too many here. I'm not feeling that. All right, let's clarify this. For Libra, the Empress, Ten of Cups, Eight of Swords, Knight of Pentacles section. Ooh, I love that. The Empress again. That is such a nice clarification. And then with the Eight of Cups. So that could be clarifying for some of you that you do have to walk away from this Empress or that they see you as being an Empress and are walking away from them. Because the Eight of Cups is moving into the Ten of Cups. So they could be walking away also from something else and then moving into another situation that is more authentic to them that is more their dreams as far as emotional fulfillment and the two of swords so intentions moving forward trying to make that decision intellectually where to go how to find that balance because it is above the six of pentacles and the queen of swords so you still might be going back and forth as far as what to do with this new with the new energy coming in with this new fire coming in double empress as well you could have two options to choose from with the double empress i do like temperance though flies out twice so this is the vibe i'm feeling for you for december and then moving into the new year it's that balance and knowing that you can find clarity with the queen of swords always that's your sign or your element so that's good fire is dying a little bit so that's a good clarification that the nine of wands your this fiery cycle is ending all right oracle card for libra Ooh, River of Blessings, Releasing Constraints, number 47. I love that. That goes really well with the Nine of Swords and the Nine of Wands. So ending that cycle, you're going to be feeling a lot more free, releasing those constraints, mentally especially. Hopefully it's not actual constraints that you have to get out of pretty intense <laughs> plus how would you even be watching this video <laughs> okay anyway moving on 
One more oracle card for Libra. One more card for December. Ooh, number 31, tap into primal power. Yes. So feeling that fire within yourself and then moving forward because the three of wands is there. There's going to be new energy coming in. And then to remember, you can let go of the past there with the six of cups reversed. All right, Libra. I really hope you found some clarity from this reading. Enjoy the rest of December. Happy holidays. Hope to see you for the mid-monthlies, if not into the new year. Bye for now.